have I got a gorgeous fabric to share with you today. Look at this beauty. This is silk and in this video I'm going to take you along with me whilst I research what patterns will work well with this beautiful fabric. Magic rainbows glisten in my head Just like a child I live in wonderland All my dreams are Welcome to Linen Bloom Heirloom. I'm Mel for those of you that don't know me already and as I say in this video I'm going to research some patterns that I think will work really well with this absolutely gorgeous fabric. Full disclosure first of all before I start, this fabric I've received for free in return for sharing whatever I make over on the Minerva website. Um, so of course once I've made up whatever I choose to make I will um, share a blog post over on there. Tell you a bit about the fabric first of all. So this is a Liberty of London 100% silk fabric. It says Rachel Meadow on the salvage there. It's absolutely beautiful. So you can see it's um, really soft and drapey. It has got a sheen to it. it. Doesn't crease. It feels so luxurious. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, I like the colourway as well because I think this will work well in any season. So you've got these lovely flowers, which I'll show you up close. Really bright meadow type flowers. But they're set on this black background, so I think that will mean that you can wear this fabric in any season, um, which is which is perfect. I've, I've, I've really um, been enjoying making clothes that I can layer up during the autumn and winter and then also wear in the spring and summer. I just think you get so much more wear out of the clothes that we've spent hours and hours and hours and hours making. So I really wanted to take my time um, with this project because it's such a precious fabric and I didn't want to rush into making something without researching what is the right pattern for the fabric. Um, it's been a while, it seems like ages since I've purchased a new pattern so I'm not really up to date with what new patterns are out there. So what I thought I would do is um, record um, some patterns that I find that I think will work well with this silk fabric to share them with you. Um, if of course you've um, worked with a perfect pattern and silk combination or maybe silk kind of fabric like a rayon or something like that um, then do, do leave a comment to let me know which um, fabrics you think uh, sorry which patterns you think would be ideal as well um, but yeah I thought it'd be a good opportunity to get out there look what patterns have come out um, and share those with you. So let me just show you this fabric in more detail before we head over to the patterns. Just to kind of try and show you how soft and light it is. Can't wait to wear it. Okay, so um, lengthwise, I've got 2.7 meters of this fabric, and the width, I can't quite remember what the width is. I think it's 138 or something like that. I'll put some text in if that's wrong. Um, so I might be a little bit limited with what I can make. Uh, like a really long flowy dress would be really nice in this fabric. Um, but you tend to need kind of three or more meters for that. That said, I'm five foot three, so I often find I need to shorten patterns if they're a longer length dress anyway, so I might get away with it. Um, but yeah, I wanna have a look at um, some dresses, some blouses, some pajamas. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll take you along and we'll have a look at some patterns. So let's head over to the patterns now. Okay, so the first pattern that I want to look at is over on Papercut Patterns. I actually received an email from Papercut earlier in the week, um, just let, letting me know that some new patterns had been released. So it brought me over here to take a look at them. And one of the patterns that I saw is this dress here. So this is the Mayer Cami or dress. 
Now this is a bias cut dress which will be great for silk because that'll feel really comfortable and really luxurious to wear. What I like about this is you've got the um, bust pieces. I, I have um, tried other cami dresses um, like with a, with, a, with a cowl neck um, and I'm not sure if that really suits my frame um whereas this i really like the shape around the bust area um and that you've got the actual kind of gathered cups um but it's a really nice shape you can although you know a silk bias cut dress is really luxurious you can still dress it down like here by putting it on with trainers So that's one to think about. Um, so let's have a look. What does this say? So um, I'm UK sizes and that ranges from size 6 to 20. It does say that it's an intermediate, um, but that will mainly be because you're working with the fabric on the bias. Let's have a look what it says about fabric requirements. So for midi length dress I would probably go for um yeah I've got enough fabric um you don't need very much at all actually 1.5 meters if it's 140 wide or 1.85 if it's 114 wide um so that could be a nice option now when I was looking on paper cut patterns there was another one that took my fancy which I thought would work well in silk and that's this one here so this is the array top or dress so this is again a simple pattern it's a simple tunic style dress and I thought that this version with the bell sleeves and the tie belt would work again especially well with silk um, I like that again you can dress it up you know wear it with some heels um, for, for a, a night out but it, again it could be dressed down with trainers and, and boots and that could be worn throughout any season as well again UK, UK size is 6 to 20 let's have a look at the fabric requirements So for the tunic dress, I would need 2.2 metres and then waist ties 0.7. So it'd be a tight squeeze, but I think I could make that work. So that's another option. Let's just have a scan through. So you've got the different sleeve options. I really like that bell sleeve, but you can add elastic as well. Looks like you can add elastic at the cuff and the hem. Let's just have a check of the fabric requirement, uh, suggested fabrics. So light to medium weight woven or knit fabric. So yeah, cotton, silk, linen or blend. So that will be okay as well. So that's it over on paper cut. So next up I'm over on Victory Patterns website. Now I do already have this pattern um, and it's perfect I would say for silk. It's the Trinia dress and blouse. I mean you can tell just by looking at it that dress is absolutely perfect for silk. Very flowy, very easy to wear. That version is stunning really like that um sadly i don't think i'm gonna have enough fabric for the dress let's have a look what it says so this goes size 2 to 16 fabric requirements so so for the dress which is version 2 
yeah nowhere near enough fabric for the dress version um, because I would need four meters um, would have enough to make a top version though so that could be an option to be a mega expensive dress wouldn't it that if I was um, needing four meters of it and that lovely silk but it is beautiful it's stunning my daughter actually made a version of this um, when she was at uni and it is really nice um, because it's got nice kind of gathered detail around the area there lovely tie waist and lovely sleeves there's a top version mm, it's nice as a top actually yeah I could see myself wearing that as a top okay so that's victory patterns Other Next up is some luxury pyjamas. Now, again, I already have this pattern, the Closet Core Patterns Caroline pyjamas, um, which is what made me think of it. Now, I wouldn't have enough fabric for the long arms, long legs version, but I would have enough fabric for the short arms, short legs version. So, really like them, really classic pair of pyjamas. Um, really good pattern. I've only made the bottom so far myself, but I have read lots of reviews um, and that, that they they come out really, really wonderful and it would just be so luxurious to be able to wear those. My only concern is they would then only get worn in spring and summer because um, I certainly wouldn't wear shorts in autumn, winter because I'm always freezing. Um, so yeah, that's the only thing that would perhaps put me off there. Looking at the fabric requirements, so it does say that they would work with silk. Um, okay, so it'd be a tight squeeze. So for view C, which is the shorts version, it says 2.75 metres if the fabric's 1.5 wide. Now, I don't think the silk is quite 1.5 wide. I think it's 1.3 something. Um, and I've got 2.7 metres, so it's going to be a tight squeeze, um, but it may work. Could be optimistic and, and, you know, might just about be able to squeeze, to squeeze them out of it. So that's another consideration. Eighth. Next up over on By Hand London's website, and this is the Anna dress. I've seen so many lovely versions of this one about, never made it myself. Um, really like the simple lines of it, that boat neck, that large slit up the front. Um, think it would work great in the silk. Let's just go back and zoom in. I think looking at that version, um, just helps me to envisage how well and how beautiful it would be in the silk. Now, fabric requirements wise, on paper I wouldn't have enough. So what it says for the maxi dress version, um, I would need 3.2 metres if the fabric's 1.5 wide. Um, that said, I know I would have to shorten that dress a lot with it being maxi, so thinking might be able to squeeze it out of the fabric that I've got. It will be a matter of getting the pattern, getting it printed out and taped together and then trying to see if it would all fit on. Let's have a look at some more of these versions. So you've got a different neckline, which is really pretty as well. So you could, I could make a shorter version, but I think if I was going to make this out of silk, it would need to be the maxi length, really. So it would be, fingers crossed, that there would be enough fabric there. So that's the By Hand London Anna. 
I'm now over on Pauline Alice's website and this is the Coeli blouse, probably not saying that right, um, but it's a loose smock type blouse um, but with some really um, unusual details. So let's just show you through the pictures. They're not the best pictures for seeing the actual design, but you can see from the back there, um, they, they've got ties for black, for back closures. It's got a high collar. It's got beautiful sleeve details and a gathered, it's got a yoke um, with a gathered bodice. That's better, you can see the actual top funny angles to show the top on the other pictures um so yeah again i thought that would be really nice in silk because the gathers would work really well the pleats would work really well i like the sleeves that's what it's like on the line drawing fabric requirements wise let's have a look at this one so yeah, it does say it's suitable for silk and 2.4 meters. So yes, I would be okay with that one. And that goes from size 34 to 52. Not sure what that is in UK sizing. With a difficulty level of two. another option okay now over on Helen's closet website and this is the Gilbert top I actually think both versions of this would work really well in the silk um, if I can get to the actual pictures for you So you've got this version um, which has got bell sleeves. But yeah, I think that'd be really pretty in the silk. Looks like a really nice length where you could wear it out or tucked in. I really like the collar detail. But then you've also got this tie front short sleeve version and I think that would work really well on the silk as well. Really like how Helen's got it styled there as well with a midi length skirt. Yeah, I think that would be really pretty as well. So yeah, it does say that the pattern is suitable for silk. And let's have a look at how much fabric I would need. Here we go, that took some finding. So if I went for the short sleeved version, um, yeah, between 1.3 and 1.9 meters, oh no, sorry, between 1.2 and 1.7 meters, so that would be fine. The longer sleeve version would also be fine, between 1.6 to 2.2 for my size range. So I could consider either of those. Okay, so for the final one that I'm going to share, else this video is just going to go on forever and ever, I'm over on the Named Clothing website, and this is the Rita shirt dress. So let's just show you the pictures. So this is a loose-fitting shirt dress. Looks like it's got a gathered waist. It's got a slit at the side. I think it would be nice in the silk fabric. Let's have a look closer. Yeah. Um, let's have a look at the 
fabric suggestions. So it does say light to medium weight non-stretch shirting. Can be drapey or less drapey. Fabric requirements lengthwise. Um, so yeah, it looks like I'd need 2.4 to 2.55 meters. So that would be okay. Yeah, I like that. The only thing I'm not sure of is that waist. I'm not sure if it if it's just a drawstring. Uh, looks like it perhaps is. Not sure how keen I am on a drawstring waist, but I could adapt it. Maybe. But that's the Rita shirt dress. Obviously. Okay, so do let me know which pattern you think would work the best. And as I say, if you've got any other pattern ideas, then leave that in the comments as well. And um, what I'm not looking to make this time is a kimono because I made that last time I worked with silk. So I want something a little bit different this time. Um, but anything else, I'm open to suggestions. Hope that you found this video useful. If you did, then do give it a thumbs up. Um, if you don't subscribe already, hit that subscribe button and that little bell so that you get notified when any new videos come out. But other than that, have a wonderful week. Happy sewing, whatever it is that you're sewing. And I will see you very soon. Bye.